Good morning everybody, welcome back. Uh, welcome to all my new subscribers and a hello to all of you who have been with me. Appreciate so much you taking the time to stop by today. If you watch my <clears throat> latest little chat video, um, I had showed these projects I've been working on and I thought it would be really fun to do a little quick tutorial on how I adapted this idea. Um, as I said, this is not my idea. This is Septeria18 who is on uh, YouTube. She's very easy to find. Uh, this was her original idea, but <clears throat> my take on it is she does a lot of projects using paper pads. And if you're like me, the ideas are fantastic, um, but I don't really have a lot of paper stacks myself. I tend to work with the digitals, as you guys know. And um, the other reason I'm not keen on the paper is it's very bulky. If you, you know, her ideas I think are more for happy mail, which is, which is great, but for uh, those of us who are trying to add little elements to our, our journals, we have to be so careful about things bulking up. So today I'm going to share with you how to make the one sheet wonder um, using a US letter size paper. Um, if you're in another country um, and your paper size is different, this is very easy to just adapt to your size um, once you see the the formula you can you can figure it out so this was using the 12 by 12 paper stack that Sandy used um, originally and then this is one that I made using Angela's wildflower kit um, which is a, a US letter size which I, I believe is about an eight and a half by eleven I could be wrong but I, I'm pretty sure that's our size I should know that so let's go over what you need first of all you need a good strong coffee you need some glue, you need a bone folder, a pair of scissors, a paper cutter or a mat with a utility knife if you're super coordinated, I'm not. And then if you've got a scoring board, that's optional. You don't have to have this. I will be using the scoreboard in this video just because I think a lot of people visually it's easier for them if they can see you using this uh, for your <clears throat> your little score lines. So let's get started. Um, so what we've got here is this is Angela's uh, wildflower kit. <clears throat> Beautiful papers. What I've done is I've run this through my printer and then you're just going to have to figure this out yourself. It's, it's just a bit of common sense. Note if it's a directional um, pattern. I try not to use too many directionals because it can get a little bit complicated in a project like this. This one, for example, it doesn't matter the orientation because you've got flowers going several directions. But if you are working with a, with, with a design, just make note when that paper is coming through the printer what is the top and maybe just even put a little T. And then you're going to feed that back through and print something on the other side. That way we're working with a really lightweight um, and that's just going to make your life a lot easier than trying to figure out how to join two papers together. That just starts getting messy. So the first thing we want to do is get rid of the border around the edge. That white border. <clears throat> And this is not an exact uh, project, and I'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean when I get done. Okay, so what we've ended up with is we're just under 8 inches. You probably can't see that. All right, let me just zoom out. We, we've ended up with just under 8 by about 10 and a quarter. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter at this point. <clears throat> Actually, I won't move that out of the way just yet. Okay, so I've got a little one already cut over here. 
because I want you guys to see. <clears throat> we're going to take this piece of paper and we're going to cut this at five, five and a quarter. Line that up. This is, um, I went cheap on my cutter, guys, and I'll be honest, I'm, I'm going to have to get the Fiskars. Uh, this one, it doesn't cut completely straight, <clears throat> so I'm a little bit bummed about that, but it's, it's managed to get me through for a few months, so that's okay. All right, so line that up straight, go five and a quarter, and then that's going to leave you a piece that's about... two and three quarters. <clears throat> now you can set that top, your cutter out of the way. So you've ended up with two pieces, right? What we're going to try, <clears throat> what you're going to get to, and this is just another piece. This is, I'm going to show you, we're going to make our scores and folds and you're going to end up with taking this piece, you're going to end up with these pieces, and then the large one you're going to end up with this. So we're going to set the, the small one to the side. And the first thing we're going to do is decide which of these you want to be on the outside. I want this pattern showing on the outside. So I'm going to just get my score up here now. <clears throat> I'm doing this pattern upside down because my scoring board is very confusing. And I don't want to confuse any of you guys. Um, and this this step might. You want this little closure flap. This little bit right here to be about one and a half inches on this project. So I'm doing mine in reverse. <clears throat> this is how it's going to be, but I'm turning it over just so I can get that that little flap. Actually, I'm going to do it at one and a quarter because that's plenty. So that's going to be my flap to close the, um, the little project with. All right, so... I'm turning it back over. Now, you, if you've got the 12 by 12 scoring board, just figure out about one and a quarter inch in. I can't do that on this one, guys. I'm sorry about that. Um, or if you don't have a scoring board, just just guess and about what you think or what you what looks nice to you. And then the other thing we're going to do <clears throat> is score this at about. four and a half. You don't have to do this again. I'll show you the other way you can do it without the scoring board. You're just going to open that up and bring this over just under, not all the way to the to the line on your flap, but just under. You're going to just fold that. And it equates to about four and a half. So then open this back up, flatten it out, and bring this bottom, the bottom bit up to the top. And fold again. And just take your little bone folder and burnish that real good. Because now we're going to make a few little snips. So this particular paper is quite busy, but you've got a score line here, across the middle, and here. You're going to come in from the right, where your flap is, and just cut to where those two score lines meet. And then on, on your left side, you're going to do the same. Come from this side right into where the score line meets. If you're like me, I'm not a very good 
at getting straight lines, but don't worry, you can always clean this up if you go off of that line slightly, because this is what I'm talking about. Because we're doing this with a, um, it's not, and you've not come out with like a 12 by 12 paper, and because of that, you will have to do a little bit of trimming at the end, but it's nothing major, and I think this idea is so, so cute. Okay, so here's what we've ended up with. You've got these flaps here, and a couple of them here. Okay, so now we've made those little cuts. This is what we're going to do. We're going to fold this back up. We're going to bring this piece over here. And then this little corner, you're going to bring it down to create just this tiny little tuck here. So grab your, you're going to want some very fine tip glue because you want to keep this, that's quite small area, so you want to make sure you've got a, a enough room that you're going to be able to fit a little um, tag in there. As, as I said, this is you're working in a really small area versus the 12 by 12 paper. And so what that's done is that's created this little tuck and then this is going to form a pocket, but we'll get to that in a moment. So this little first flap comes over And so there's your first tuck and a pocket, but we're going to open this back up and now sit this to the side and grab this bit of paper. And here we're just going to pull this, <coughs> fold it in half. I love these papers so much, aren't they just beautiful? Those colors are so nice and rich. All right, so this bit, we're just, we folded it in half. Now let's cut it. And if you find it easier to cut on your paper cutter, absolutely do it, whatever is easiest. Now this part, I like to actually do this. Um, on my scoreboard because I want to make sure I get these even. So stack those together or do them individually, totally up to you. But just make yourself uh, about uh, three, uh, three, let's go away. Um, a half of an inch. Just score that. I better do these one at a time. So a half of an inch, score, I just, I like to do it that way because that way I know they're exact. And just fold that over <coughs> because these are actually going to create a couple of little flaps in this portion of it. So that's going to be, you've got this this part we haven't glued together. That's why we, we, we didn't go ahead and glue this because this will form a pocket back here and a pocket here, but you don't want to do that until you've got these little flaps glued inside and this is where you're going to see you're going to have to come back you see that that when that's lined up you're going to have just a little bit of overhang but there's no other way around this guys don't worry about that we're going to come back and correct that in just a moment so the first thing you're going to do is just, just go ahead and get this little portion now Sandy did snip these little edges just to take some of that bulk out. So we'll do the same thing here. She's 
she's so clever, that girl. Um, she can come up with amazing little projects. So that's what you've ended up with on those extra little flaps. So let's go ahead and get the first one glued down. <clears throat> Line it up. Try to zoom you guys back in so you can see. Make sure that you're lining this right up with that so there's no overhang on that side. There will be overhang here, but we'll correct that in just a moment. I'm trying to get this video done. Um, last A couple of video goes, videos ago, I did one with our air conditioner on, and he, oh, it was a dreadful sound. So I'm trying to get this video out, guys, to you before I have to turn the AC on because we're going to be probably 102 today. And um, so I'm kind of like, oh, i got to get this out. And uh, Paul said, well, how long do you need? And I said, about a week. Oh, my goodness. We're on top of each other. I love him dearly, but wow, 24-7 we are together, so I'm thinking, yeah, it's going to take me about a week to get this video out. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so that pit, that little flap we've got dealt with. So now, you're gonna, you've got this, okay, let me open this back up so you guys don't get confused. You've got this little flap here. You're going to need to tuck that under because you don't want to get that glued behind. So let's take this portion now. <clears throat> get a little bit. I don't know why my glue is kind of oozing out like the um, the Fabri-Tac does sometimes. I don't know what's up with that little bottle. Let me get this closed up. Let's try to stop that from coming out. So the same thing on this one. Just slide that under there and line it up so it's not going to hang over on that other side. Alright. So this is where we're at. We've got these now. I hope you can see that. This is You've got all this bit. So let's just start gluing things together so that <clears throat> you guys can see. This little bit back here, if you want to put a notch... in this back bit, you can create a nice little pocket. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So just line up your, try to get it centered, your little circle punch. And so now, look at that, that glue. I don't know what's going on with that. It just keeps coming out. Hmm. So now we're just going to take and run a bead of glue along these two sides okay and just let that glue down this part we're going to just run a little bit of glue <clears throat> along the bottom <clears throat> excuse me guys along the bottom and then here I really hope you guys, I, I haven't made this seem complicated because it's not at all, but I suppose because it's a busy pattern, it might be a little hard for you guys to see, and I really hope that's not the case. <clears throat> let me, um, let me just try putting this under here and see if that helps at all. I should have thought of that earlier and put something down, <clears throat> so I do apologize for that. Um, all right, so this little flap we're going to keep there's a lot of options you could have with that. These are the little pieces that we've just added. So you can see we need to fold these in to make a little, you're, you're creating little little pockets, little tucks here. 
and if you want you can round these edges. I think I will try to do that because it, it just makes it look a little more finished I think. Okay, so I've just rounded that. Now we're just going to put a little, a little bead of glue along these edges. What a shame I had to make the pocket on that particular flower because I love that flower. Oh, dang! I'm really sad I had to cover that one up. That's such a beautiful image. Yeah, these things happen though. All right, so then now we've got this bit that you know the extra flap, and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to bring this back to create another little tuck spot. So if if you guys um, wanted, you know, once you've made one of these, you'll see that you could actually add even more to this. Um, all right, so what have we got so far? Let's just see if I've got a... Sorry, I'm just trying to find something, a little tag that I can show you guys with. Yeah. So what have we got? We've got a pocket here. A tuck spot here. Then you've got this flap that you could add an envelope, a little glassine envelope would be gorgeous. Or you can just leave it, maybe put a picture. Um, I think it, it needs something. I think a little glassine um, envelope would be precious on that. So that flips over. You've got this area, you could either put an area that somebody could journal in, or you could add another envelope, um, you could add a couple more pockets. That folds in, you've got a pocket here. Same with this area, if there's room that you could, you could certainly add more to that. You've got this little pocket. Now you've got this area that you can, again, add an envelope, a small mini envelope, a couple of pockets there. And then that is your front. And let's go ahead and pull that in. And I'm going to round these corners as well. And then this is our little flap to close. And so let's get that rounded. Alright, so now you're probably looking at this and thinking, I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, we had a little bit of overhang because <clears throat> those papers are not, you're not working with a perfectly square paper. And that's where we're going to have to trim this up slightly. But as you can see, you're only talking about probably an eighth of an inch. So when you open that up, just snip this off. So now this is the back and again we've got another pocket back here. So I think that is so sweet. So I will show you guys this one again. 
which is completed. I've done all the decorating on this one. Um, you could add a Velcro, Velcro closure, or I did a little snippet and used the button for this to tie to. I think that's really cute. You could use an eyelet closure. There's so many, so many different ways. So this opens up. Here, this is the cover. Inside, as I said, this has got room. I can add a little photo. Um, I could do some journaling on this one. This is the first pocket. This opens up. Again, I can add another small photo. Here, I can add various things. Um, she, Sandy primarily, she uses it to send out little things in Happy Mail. And I thought, how cute to have, um, if you've got the little dies for the various tag sizes, wouldn't it be cute to do a little glassing envelope full of little die cuts that you could send somebody and then she you know a lot of a lot of people send washi tape I don't have a collection of washi tape so for me it would be little die cuts I could send and little bits of ephemera like I've got from uh, this kit um, would be really sweet and then maybe some little faux postage stamps um, this opens up and again you, you've got room you could add more pockets here but just bearing in mind the more you add to it the bulkier this is going to get and then this is that little flap here's the front pocket this has got a room we could put a tiny tag in there and I should have done that I haven't done that yet I must grab a little tag out and so if you close this back up and flip it over then you've got this back pocket that holds another journaling card so yes guys so there's my um, my uh, take on the one sheet wonder and this is using our US letter size digitals I hope that <laughs> it's been easy to follow I really um, I apologize for the contrast to my table I just didn't see that that was a bit busy so I really hope that that came out okay and that it was easy for you guys to see um, and so I don't know let's go ahead and just put this other one together as well I've got another one cut out here so let me just go over this one more time we're at this point of where it's all been You've done all the scoring and the cutting, and this is where we just add these little flaps. I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. That won't be flapping around at least. Yeah, I had printed this out. This is one of Angela's kits. I think it's Lovely Lilacs or something. It's Angela Kerr Design on Etsy. Um, and, of course, when I saw it was the purples, I just had to have it. And I haven't actually worked with this kit yet. So, so that's been glued down. And so now we're going to glue these little flaps. inside here and then we can just trim off and correct that little overhang I'm hoping that maybe this is a little bit easier to see with that scoreboard down oh I just put the glue on the wrong side Gina duh what's wrong with you <laughs> it's because I'm trying to hurry. I feel like the countdown's on. It's heating up. Paul's waiting to get inside. Oh, it's hot in here today, guys. Very busy, busy, busy night last night. We checked in quite a few people here. Okay, and so now... You can glue this down. 
I'll put my little notch in here first. So you can see you really don't need a scoreboard for this. Um, I just know, you know, some ladies it, it helps them. They like, they want to know the precise measurements. And I understand that when you're just starting out, you, you kind of don't have the confidence to just, you know, eyeball something. And so this is going to get pulled over here. And then this is going to be our little flap closure. And you can see again, the little overhang. You're just going to snip that off. So that's the difference between working with a uh, square paper pad and our digitals. Is it's You're always going to have a little bit that you're going to have to trim off. Unless you're like really, really good at math and can get those cuts exact. Um, but I'm not. I just wing it, and uh, it's, it works. It works for me. So isn't that pretty? You've got the little contrast on that pocket. This is going to open up. You, you're going to have... Oh, yeah, I must glue those down. Um, you'll have these little pockets here. That pocket there. Another tuck spot, another pocket here, and then that flap that you can do something with. Actually, I'm going to do it. Isn't that pretty? I love those papers. Very, very pretty. Okay, guys. I hope that that has helped you to see how easy you can take these digitals and just with a little bit of time, um, you know, get your brain engaged a little bit of time and altering some of these sizes. I'm going to start working on some of these things and adapt them to our digitals because I think I think we really we need to to be able to do that without having to worry about carrying all those um, paper pads around. And uh, they're quite thick as well. I like the the weight of this. It's a nice addition. Um, to the journal. I can't show you all my journal, but I can show you this page. Let me zoom out. This this journal hasn't been shown yet, but you can see, and, and this is just a, a pocket I made out of a page, so you know that there's there's no depth to that pocket, and look at how easy that fits in there. I love it. Love it, love it, and, and I'm enjoying making these projects because um, there's something that you can easily do in the evening, you know, and not be too stressed out. So, okay, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, thank you all so much for the really, really lovely comments on my last video. Um, I should have said that at the beginning. I'm just kind of hyper this morning. I want to get this video done before it gets too hot. But I do appreciate um the lovely, lovely comments that you guys left. You, you just don't know what this community means to me. It's been, um, it's just, I just love it here. I love um, all the ladies that I've, the friendships I've made, all of the uh, people I've met doing this. It's been wonderful. So thank you guys. Have a great weekend, and I will be back soon with some of our little projects for us. Take care. Bye.